just look at the scales on that. Yep. Welcome to part two of the vlog. Now, I hope you enjoyed part one where it was over on Unity, where I managed to catch nine fish up to 30 pounds 12. And for part two, I've moved to Yeomans. Reason for that move was because the fishing really did slow down on Unity. There was quite a few anglers starting to turn up. Swim choice was starting to become very limited, so I didn't want to waste any more time. I quickly threw everything on the barrel and went for a walk and fortunately I found some fish at the top end of Yeomans. Now you currently join me with less than 24 hours to go so I'm going to take you back to the first night I spent on here and just to show you what exactly happened. So I'm just going to stick a few baits out with throwing stick but just to get an idea for the range I'm going to drop one spot over the top. I've just got bug and SLK here and 15 mil. Oh, that was a bit short, a bit better. Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock and I've had my first fish from Yeomans. And he's a little bit bigger than what I thought. He's gone 23-3 and he was taken on a solid bag on the left hand rod. Hook bit wise was a crayfish wafter. Going to get a couple of photos done and we'll get him slipped back. Well, I have no idea what time it is, but I've just had fish number two from Yeomans and they're getting bigger. This one went 28.6 and again taken on a solid bag from the same spot the last fish came from. This time the hook bait was a PB wafter. So going to get a couple of quick photos of this one. It's absolutely freezing and I'm looking forward to getting back into bed to warm myself up. Well, good morning from Yeomans. So last night, as you would have seen, I had a few fish. I actually had four, but one of them was a mid-double, so I just unhooked him on, in the net and sent him on his way. And the last fish came probably about an hour before first light. And at that point, I was cold and I was tired, so I just quickly held him up for the camera for you to have a quick look at him. And then I got back in the bed. After a couple of hours, I managed to pull myself out of the bag and refreshed all three rods. Now, whenever I came into the swim yesterday, there was quite a few fish showing up on this end and they were mostly showing on the far margin behind me. But I didn't want to fish all three rods over there, purely because I just felt like if I were to put three rods over there with tight lines going across that far bank, I am at the end of the lake, there's a bay to my right. I just felt like that would potentially push those fish out and ruin the fishing for me. So with that in mind, I've dropped two in open water with a little bit of bait over the top, which you would have seen, uh, which was with the throwing stick. Now through the hours of darkness after a couple of fish, I did drop three spots over the top, but that was just so for accuracy more than anything. So I knew that 100% there was bait over the area. And that rod fished in the far margin hasn't actually produced. 
so if it doesn't do anything today i'm probably going to drop that one on the same area as the other two and just concentrate on that but for now i'm going to get the kettle on because i'm absolutely busting for a coffee Well, what a result that was. I was just about to get the coffee on and the rod up against the margin went and it's an absolute belter at 31.11. Just look at the scales on that. Buzzing with this. Solid bag again of the crayfish mini mix and this time it was a crayfish wafter. Happy days. Thank you. Still buzzing after that 31 from earlier. It was such a lovely fish, that one. It was probably about lunchtime when I had that. I did redo the rod afterwards and had a tench. Now, I don't mind tench, um, and that is the truth, but I'd much rather have them on a float rod than the carp setup. So it was slipped back, and after that, I pulled the rods in, uh, just rested the area for a little bit, nipped down to the farm to get a few bits and pieces. And when I came back, I just spent the afternoon in the sun. It's really nice to feel the heat of the sun today. Really did feel like a proper spring day. Uh, but I haven't seen much movement out there, to be honest. So hopefully they're still here and we'll pick another few off like we did last night. Well, after about five tents through the night, it's about four o'clock in the morning now, I managed to pick up another carp. This one's went 24 and a half. Right, it's absolutely freezing. I'm gonna get him back and get back into bed. If you had told me it was January, I would have believed you. It is that cold. I know it probably doesn't look like it with the sun but it's absolutely freezing. But the rod over on that far margin went again. Only a mid double this one, but it's another bite, that's an important thing. Oh, well, we're away again. Or we're away again. Oh, it's a tench. Rod's gone with a tench, I expect, yeah. It's a lovely tent, probably getting on for about five or six pounds, it's just not what we're after. That's when you know spring has arrived, when you're getting hammered by these things. 
Right, back you go. Oh, it's freezing. Oh. Okay, so before the middle rod went and interrupted me there, which was a tense frustrating me, I was saying that the right hand rod has went and I've got a comment in the net to show you. So before I get that one out to have a look at it, I'm going to get that rod back out there and fishing. I've got a bag here ready to go. So I'll buzz this one out onto the spot quickly, get the common out and we'll have a look at it. Well, there he is. Proper angry common. He was beating me up a little bit in the mat there. So I'll not keep him out of the water too long. We'll get him back straight away. Well, good afternoon, or well, I should probably say good evening. It's getting on for probably for about six o'clock at this point. And as you can imagine, the afternoon passed fairly quietly. Not a lot happened at all. Haven't even seen anything out there since that last fish. Now, the weather today, although it looks a lot warmer on camera, it's been absolutely ice cold and the wind would cut you in half. So I've taken shelter in the bivy for the majority of the day. And just got a few things prepared for later on this evening. Uh, what I did do though is put a second rod over on that far margin because the last couple of fish that's where they have came from and with the sun beating down on that far margin and it being a little bit calmer over there I thought it'd be worth a shout but unfortunately it wasn't to be. I think going into tonight I'll probably leave one rod over there like I have done and then I'll put two back on that short open water spot. I'll probably introduce another bit of bait over the top because I haven't put anything in since last night. So I'll get the throwing stick out again and get a spread of bully out there and hopefully tonight means we'll have a few more fish. Yep. Right, oh. he's not far out now. Drop them other two rods down in case it backs them up. There we go. But he's kited over them already. Yeah, so you picked that rod up, can't see. No, it's only a small one.
came on. You can just see the pink bug wafter hanging out of its mouth. And he's in the net. Happy days. Good morning. I did just switch the camera on to give you a little bit of an update on how last night went. But the right hand rod pulled up and I've now another fish in the net to show you. But last night was quiet and it was cold and nothing happened at all. Other than I did hear a few fish out there. Now this morning whenever I got up in the bay to my right there was a fish that showed and I quickly wound a rod in, put a fresh bag on that and dropped it straight in the rings, which is the rod that's produced the fish. It must have went within 20 minutes. So the baited spot hasn't done anything for about 24 hours now so I'm going to pull off that and coming into my last 24 hours. So the plan will be just to keep two rods on that far margin as that's where the last few fish have came from and I'll probably put that right hand rod back in that bay or I'll be casting it about at any shows that I see but for now we'll get this fish out and have a quick look. And there we go, 26.9 and this was the result of casting that solid bag to that showing fish in the bay. Now is a good time as any to talk to you about the rig and the presentation that I'm using on Yeomans. And it's just a simple solid bag setup. So I've got a 4 ounce inline lead going down to a 5 inch braided hook length and that's fished slip D style. I've got a bit of shrink tube over the eye just as a bit of a kicker and the hook bait on this one is a crayfish wafter. How I like to set my solid bags up is I put the hook bait in one corner uh, with the hook point facing down and next is to add the insect meal that has the added calmness liquid in it and this does two things for me so it's not only the added attraction you get from both the insect meal and the calmness liquid but because I sharpen my hooks it just gives a little bit of protection on the hook point so next I'm going to continue to fill up the bag but with the mini mix palette and now I'm going to add some of the calmness liquid. Followed by another bit of the mini mix palette. And I just like to make sure that that lid is fairly central in the bag. So I'm going to just add more palette to that until I have about an inch left of the bag left. So at this point is this is when I like to tighten the bag down and I like to tie my solid bags off with tape. Couple overhand knots just to secure it and then trim off your excess PVA. And the last thing to do is just the corners. And that is one solid bag ready to go. Today has definitely been a day of two halves. This morning has been absolutely ice cold with that wind, but the wind has now thankfully dropped off and it's feeling much warmer. You can really feel the heat of that sun. And I think the fish have responded a wee bit to that as well. It definitely slowed down when that wind turned up, but since it's eased off, I've definitely seen a bit more activity out there. There's been a few more shows in the last couple of hours. So I'm hopeful going into the last night that we'll be able to nick another fish or two before we have to make the long way back home tomorrow. But I think I'm going to enjoy the last evening with a beer or two. Just sit back and watch the water for a bit. And hopefully if I don't get one before it gets dark, I'll see you through the night before I have to leave in the morning.
good morning and last night was quiet. I really was confident going into the night that I was going to pick another fish or two off, especially whenever that wind dropped off. Fish started to move out there and just look good, but for whatever reason it just didn't happen. The only activity I've had is a tench on the left hand rod, so that's now been redone. Um, I think today I'll probably be casting bags at any shows if I see them. Actually, if I was staying any longer, I'd probably be moving today, uh, but unfortunately time is running out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the breakfast on, to sit back with a coffee and just hopefully one of these rods will go in the last few hours. But it started the rain a little bit this morning and I made a little bit of a schoolboy error. I've left my chair outside so it's soaked, but at least it's the last day so I'll not be needing it anyway. Right, I'll see you in a bit. So it's just gone 10 o'clock and I haven't got much time left, maybe three hours at a push. Now I was hoping for one last bite as it would have been a nice way to end the video but I definitely can't complain. I've had what 17 or 18 fish with a couple of 30s amongst that so I'm more than happy with that result. Looking back on the session would there have been anything I would have done differently? I probably would have fished sinks at some point. I think that would have nicked an extra bonus fish or two. But all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel as it really would mean a lot. And I will see you on the next one.